Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the brand new, well not really brand new, but the somewhat new Skin Food Vita Water Pore Fit Cushion Bottle. It's got SPF 50 PA triple plus, and on the front of the can it claims to have cool and poor coverage. Poor as in P-O-R-E, not poor like bad coverage. Um, light, it's supposed to be lightweight, moisturizing, it's supposed to give you soft and smooth looking skin. Now, um, on the display, it does claim to have full coverage, but I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later. In that vlog of me, Russell and Diane, going to Wijongbu and eating the, um, the Indian food, um, we stopped by Skin Food and this is when I purchased that one. It comes in two colors. I got the one number two, Natural Skin. I, don't know. I think the first one is called like Bright Skin or like Light or something. But obviously I got number two because I'm not that pale. What I enjoy the most about this is that it actually matches my skin tone very well. I'm not wearing it today, but um, but in the demo clip you can see how it matches me. doesn't give that much of that like SPF looking face um, it actually looks like my skin um, I'm kind of like a Mac NC 25 in terms of coloring for reference it's supposed to contain different uh, essences I'll put it right here now when I first apply it the very first thing that I notice even when I applied it on my hand in the store it gives a very very cool feeling to the skin um, very almost like ice. The first thing that it reminded me of was the Dior uh, foundation, the Air Flash aerosol foundation. So I was wondering if it was anything similar to this. I heard airbrush makeup has really good coverage, so I wanted to see if um, you know this being a cushion aerosol foundation, if it would be the same. So you've got your metal can here, the lid twists on and off. This is off. This is on open it there's a tiny tiny mirror and this tiny little sponge it's smaller than most um like cushion foundation sponges so and here is the little hole where the product comes out of now the thing is i really didn't like it at first because i felt like i kept having to build coverage um that was completely because of user error um what i was doing is um you're supposed to shake it and um, you're supposed to pump it and then apply it to your face. But what I was doing was I was shaking it, opening it, and then putting my fingers in the cushion and then pumping it. And I would apply it to my face, but I feel like the product would just be in like this little center of the sponge. So I would have to like really spread it everywhere. But even then, I just felt like it was all concentrated in that one spot and stuck in the sponge that I kept having to go back and getting more product on I was like, this is so tedious, like, this is taking longer than it should. But then I saw another YouTuber actually, um, she would shake it and then twist it on and then pump it down from here and then apply it. And it applies so much faster and the it sprays onto the puff much more evenly and it gives you better coverage. It's way faster than um, even, uh, even traditional cushion foundations. A lot of people complain about the smell, but I actually really like the smell. It's very uh, fresh and kind of fruity floral, but I know there is an initial, if you like, you apply it really fast after having pumped it out, there is that kind of like aerosol-y smell. If you, you have you used a dust off before, that canister of air that's used for like dusting things, it kind of has that sort of smell. I don't mind it. Um, I like the uh, fragrance that it has. So so whatever. Despite you know the application, the first time I tried it, I really enjoyed how good the coverage is. It's very good at evening out the skin tone, um, you know, eliminating redness, and I find that it smooths out pores really nicely. And 
It does kind of sit in a fine line, so I make sure I really pat those parts out, really smooth them out, maybe even smooth them out with my finger afterwards just so that, you know, it doesn't like crease and bunch up in the lines, especially around here because I have a lot of like lineage going on here. And I like that I didn't have to set it with powder because it, the finish, what am I doing? I'm not even wearing it. The finish is like, kind of demi matte um it's not luminous or anything but it's not super super matte it, it looks like skin it really looks like skin and especially now that i found out how to really apply it i absolutely love it now that i'm looking at it the instructions are there in korean but there are pictures so i wasn't even like following these instructions out of curiosity i did try um you know shaking it and like spraying it like directly on my skin because i know that's how the dior air flash foundation works you can spray it directly onto your face and i tried it with this and don't even bother because it doesn't like the coverage isn't there um, it applies much better with like the actual sponge that's in there and if i'm wearing sunscreen under it by the end of the day it kind of looks like cakey and cracked so i just use this as my sun protection since i am indoors all day anyway so if you're within the realm of my coloring or lighter, I do recommend this uh, cushion. I'm not sure how lo long it's gonna last. There's still quite a bit of product in there, even though I've been using it for a few weeks. I hope you found that review helpful, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.